Hello everybody, welcome back to another roleplay. Uh, as you can see today, we are roleplaying in Greenville. I've got my school bus out here today. And I'm currently going to head up to the school. School's right there. We're almost there. We actually have a road trip today. It's going to be a very, very, very long road trip. But, which is okay, because the school has paid for us to stay at some motels. Which is very nice, because... In my opinion, it's very much needed. I don't, I don't want to drive for uh, so many miles, like at, at one time, basically. Yeah. All right, gonna go ahead and turn our yellow lights on here. We're just approaching now. Uh, the principal told me all the kids are in the gym, so I really want to trust him on that. Uh, I can't, um, I can't, uh, blah, be on top of that crosswalk. So I'll just park in the yellow, which I don't think I'm really supposed to, but all right. All right, let's get uh, out of here. Right, we are at Greenville School right now. Uh, the kids should be in the gym, so go over there. Uh, home of the Polar Bears. I did not even know that. I never attended Greenville School anyway. Oh, oh, here are all they are. Hello. Uh, are, we, are we all ready? I'm the bu I'm gonna be the bus driver um for the road trip. We have eight hours to go, but we will be driving two hours today and six hours uh in the morning. All right. We will be sleeping at the motel after two hours today. So that that's our first destination is the motel. And then obviously we go farther uh down. So yeah, all you guys in your bags, you guys should be able to hold your bags. So uh, if you guys want to follow me. We can uh, head down to the bus. You guys can all put your bags under the seats since the bus does not have any anywhere to put all of your belongings. So you guys are going to have to put it under your seat. Alright. Here we all go, guys. Everyone on in. I even got the red lights on for you and everything. <laughs> oh my gosh, that noise. Alright. So, yep, everyone put your belongings uh, on the seat. And uh, here, here's a little bit of ground rules, all right? Please, no eating, all right? If you want to eat, you have to get permission by uh, the, the, the teacher. I didn't know if you're the principal or teacher. Sorry, man. And, oh, he's not even on that. I guess he was doing a safety check. But you have to get uh, permission from the principal, Sorry, driver, it's fine. I said principal again. I mean teacher in order to eat on the bus. Uh, please do not get up during the ride. If you have to get up, please make sure it is for a good reason. It, it distracts me. Even though you guys are not my main route, it still distracts me. And also, please do not yell and scream. It also distracts me. But pretty, pretty self-explanatory if you've ever rode a bus before. All right. Let's get this show on the road, everyone. All right, it's going to go ahead and turn our lights off. Start the engine. I do have my GPS on my phone here, so it's currently 11 a.m., so that's nice. All right, let's get going. So we have 2.2 miles to go until the uh, motel. So hopefully, hopefully we'll be all right. It looks like clear day out. The weather said it might get cloudy, but that's pretty much it. You know, but anything can happen. Anything unexpected can happen at any time. So I just have to be cautious. Uh, we were going to get two buses here, but, you know, it, it, there's, like, there's not that many students. I thought there was going to be two classes coming, but I guess one of the classes canceled. So it's only, it's only these uh, people here. I almost didn't stop for that stop sign. That would have been... That would not have been that good. Alright. What is this place? Oh, it's the apartments. Oh. I'm curious. Does anyone live there? Probably. They, got, they even got like a pool and stuff up there. That's pretty cool. Watch this officer, John and Aiden. Alright. So, it looks like we're just gonna have to be heading straight. For like a, a while so I might pick up the video when uh, 
we get about halfway or maybe up there to the highway yeah that that's probably where uh guys i don't know if you guys have noticed look how dark it's getting in the sky we've we've only managed to make it about like 0.8 all right i'm gonna turn my headlights on that's actually slow down i'm literally going 47 miles i don't know what they're talking about wait i don't i have i've rarely ever driven on these roads oh my gosh i thought that was a turning space all right we're gonna have to turn here she's getting really really dark don't know why uh somebody mind uh actually a uh, teacher mind checking the weather app for us I don't know why it's getting this dark, and I, I have the GPS on. I can't be checking it. So, yeah. yeah. All right, as you can see, we got another big turn coming up. So, um, guys, guys, this is massive thunderstorm and hail alert in the county. Stay inside of the shelter or get into a building immediately. Yeah, uh, do you, do you guys hear the like those sounds? Are you? Oh my, that's hurting my ears so much. We gotta. We have to find a place to pull over, dude. I don't know where to go. Uh, we are almost at the motel too. Uh, okay, let's let's just pull into here. Let's just pull into here. This is literally drive into shelter, dude. Oh my gosh, I can barely even see. What the? Okay, this is not a normal field trip. All right, everyone, I'm gonna try to get you guys to the parking lot. Just gotta turn on my high beams. My gosh, I'm gonna try to get you guys uh inside the building. Jeez, dude. It's literally on the windshield. All right, everyone. Out. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. It's a big old hail and stuff out here. It literally said hail. Go, go, go. All right. I think that's it. All right. Uh, yeah, just double check. Let's go inside, teacher. Oh, my gosh, dude. All right, everyone. Everyone. Stay. Everyone, take a seat. Take a seat in the waiting room, all right? Teacher, I'm going to really need you to control your students. I have to go call the board. I'm gonna have cheese, dude. Alright, just cancel our route then. I don't think we're gonna be able to do this. Until we wait for the hailstorm to be over, we're this we won't be able to do this. Alright, uh I don't even know who to call, dude. Alright, I'm gonna just call the school board guy. Uh let's call the school board guy. Hello? Jeez, dude. Hopefully he responds back. Alright, he said hello. Uh, we are in this massive storm. Like, we're in this massive storm and we don't know what to do. You guys hear that siren else there? Like, the main, the big siren stopped, but, like, there's like a little tiny siren there. Okay. Wait, actually, no, I said the big siren stop, but it's literally still playing. It's just outside. We can't really hear. There's a really big storm coming. What What do we do? Like, we're at the... Okay, we're at the... We're at the credit union. Moton Castle Credit Union. We, we don't know what to do. I need to take the students back to school or something. I can't have this. We can't stay here for, like, like this. Like, I don't... I don't know. I don't know what we'll be able to do, dude. It's only 11. Yeah, we, we're in an enclosed building. We're safe. Like, is that all we have to do? Like, honestly. Maybe, should I call the police? Uh, get away from all windows? Uh, yeah, we're good on that. There's no windows. But, do we call the police? Like don't know what to do call the police all right i guess we're, we're gonna have to call the police i, I guess we don't have any other choice guys because uh, i'm stuck here with a whole bunch of students and we're on a bus road trip there's nothing we can do and we can't stay in this building i mean technically we could but i feel like it's best if they know that we're safe um stranded i'm gonna just say stranded honestly in the storm all right Hopefully they know that we're at the moat and castle. May hopefully the uh, thingy goes through. Right, I'm gonna put on my umbrella. I need to check what's going on. Oh my gosh, dude. Oh, they're already here. Okay, that's good. Oh my gosh. 
It's it's not that strong. At least it's not breaking any of like the windshield or anything. Oh, dude. Hey, officer. Come get under here where it's all safe. You should have an umbrella, my man. Anyway, anyway, uh, we're, we're we were on a road trip and we're like we're stuck in here because of the storm. They they told us to go get like evacuation and shelter. I really I really don't know what to do. It should be over in an hour or so. All right, do you know if it's like gonna come back on? Cause like sometimes storms go on and off. It should pass by. All right. Uh, do you guys you guys mind doing me a favor? Maybe. Uh, we we just after the storm does like pass by or whatever. Do you guys mind uh, transporting us? It's either we're going to the motel down the street or we're going back to school. Sir, what's the problem? We just don't want to we just don't want anything to happen, really. We just want to be extra secure because there's like students on this bus. Obviously, if you can't tell, there's students. Just go to the motel. All right. Uh If you guys don't mind coming inside, I mean, we can go talk to the teacher. All right, let's go. Uh Mr. Ray. Uh so, do you still want to go to the motel and uh, still head the six hours? Because, um, what's it called? <sighs> the, the, the place we're going to should not have any storms or anything. I think it's safe as long as we get out of this county. I don't think it's worth canceling the entire field trip. Rather, rescheduling. But, in this case, I don't think we should even reschedule. The police here said they'll give us a nice, um, a nice escort, so I think that'll be good. The storm should be passing in about 15 minutes or so. Uh, that's uh, last time I heard about it. All right. Well, I'm I'm exhausted though. I'm gonna go sit down here. Just gotta wait for this nasty storm to pass by. But uh, I'll see you guys when the storm does pass by. All right, guys. The uh, the storm. It, look, it sounds like it's past, but like it's kind of still raining outside. We might get an alert here soon. Oh, I was right. It says the storm has passed for now. It is safe to leave, though. Be cautious. Late rain still remains, and it's by the emergency weather program. All right, all right, guys. Uh, get your umbrellas and stuff. We can try to head outside. Hold on. I need to make sure it's safe first. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Just make sure it's safe. Oh, yeah. The rain isn't too bad, and there's no more hail. So, you guys should be good. Let's go. Everyone on the bus. We're going to be getting an escort by the sheriffs. You want me to lead? Uh, Whichever one of you wants to lead, sure. We're just going to the motel, all right? All right. All right. I'm just going to have to double check if that's everyone. All right. That seems to be everyone. Surprisingly, there's no one working here, but the doors are open. Pretty weird. At least we got to stay there. You checked. It's all good. All right. Have a seat, though, uh, Mr. Ray. So that we can get going here. It's still light rain, though, which is kind of not that good. Do I have to unlock the doors? They aren't locked. All right. We're all good. I'm just going to be heading out with the sheriffs now. Uh, yeah, one will be behind and one will be in front. That's nice of them, though, to give us a little escort. It's pretty, pretty good. Uh, what do you know? The weather is clearing up, which is a really good sign. Uh, just, t like, it turned really fast from very cloudy to, like, almost little clouds at all. So that's good. Over here honking at me? Am I driving that slow? Right, I guess we can go up to the full miles of like 55, which is the limit. But. Alright. Yeah, we should be good to go that fast. Obviously, not too fast though. We don't want anything to happen. Let's go outside. It's so nice. When should we reach our destination? Uh, We have about 10 minutes to go to the motel all right so just stay seated and we should be good going to the motel 
Gotta switch the lanes, though. Is there cows? I, I don't see them. Alright, everyone. This is the motel. Welcome. It's not very, uh, big from what it looks like. I mean, they paid for me to stay here as well, so I can't complain. I'm just gonna make a little U-turn here, though. Uh, once you guys go in, the front desk people should be helping you. Make sure to grab all of your belongings from under your seat. Make sure nothing has been left. Because I am going to pull off and I have to go park somewhere. So, let's turn the engine off. Alright, everyone. Thank you guys for riding today. We're going to pick up this at 6 a.m. tomorrow. So, 6 a.m. sharp tomorrow. So, just be ready. Bye, everyone. All right. Just got to... Just going to have to triple check. All right. Uh, all right. Nothing has been left. All right. Thank, oh, yeah. Most importantly, thank you, guys, sheriffs. You guys really did... It, it was really nice of you to escort us. You know, I, I was not expecting that storm. And I'm surprised it cleared up so fast, honestly. Like, I don't, I don't know how, but... Like, like an hour ago it was all black skies, and now it's not. So I don't know. That's what we're here for? Yep, indeed. Alright, well, uh, I'm going to have to go park this bus somewhere. Enjoy your trip. You as well. I was going to say you as well, but enjoy your shift. Calls if you need us again. Will do. Alright, let's get this park somewhere. I don't know where I'm going to park it, but... Maybe I just park it along the sides. Oops. Uh, you guys didn't see that. Maybe, yeah, maybe I'll just park it here down the sides. Just turn my blinkers on. My hazards. Alright. Turn the engine off. We should be good. I think I could go get in my room, though. Well, everyone, if you did enjoy the Greenville roleplay... Let me know, because I do want to do more Greenville stuff. But, I mean, it's always hard, because, you know, my channel's ERLC-focused. But, Greenville's, it's always a nice side game to play. Uh, make sure to join all the Discords. Links are down below. And I'll see you guys, hopefully, tomorrow. The day before the summer update, hopefully. And, uh, thank you all for watching this Greenville RP.